Hello students, welcome back to the next video. What are we going to study today? Let's see. Problems in the periodization of James Mill. Last we had seen James Mill had divided the periodization into three parts, Hindus, Muslims and Britishers. Was this periodization correct? Let's see. James Mill divides history on religious grounds, Hindu, Muslim, British. Is it right to characterize an age only through the religion of the rulers of the time? Whether it is right to divide like this on the basis of religion? Do you think it is right? No. Why? Because when a ruler, if he is a Hindu, there will be other people who are staying who are following the other faiths as well. When Muslim ruler is ruling, there can be other Hindus who are uh, staying in the kingdom. Yes or no? Yes. Does the life, religion and practices of other did not matter? This periodization is not true and justified. So we cannot say that this periodization what James Mill had offered is true or justified. According to him, he had divided whatever he saw when he came. But this is not the correct periodization what he has given to us. In the starting, the historians of India had accepted. But this is not justified. Because variety of faith existed simultaneously. For example, when Delhi was ruled by Muslim rulers in South, there were rulers of other faiths too. Due to the limitation of periodization offered by James Mill, moving away from the British classification, historians have divided Indian history into three parts or the three periods. Now, James Mill had offered this three periodization, Hindu, Muslim and the British. But according to this, it wasn't justified. That is what we saw the last slide. But in this, our Indian historians, they divided according to their understanding and what they saw. They divided it into ancient, medieval, modern. Ancient, medieval, modern. Ancient is associated with primitive and old society. Medieval is associated with ancient, neither ancient nor modern. It's a transition period. Modern, associated with the growth of the modern forces. Here, they talked in the, before two uh, videos, okay, before that, we saw that there were a lot of progress which was seen according to James Mill when uh, in the periodization he mentioned about modern forces, he mentioned about the progresses, he mentioned about the civilization that they had brought it in India. Modern period was associated with a lot of examples we can give science, reason, democracy, liberty and equality. Okay, this all things, modern period is associated with science, reason, democracy, liberty and equality. Was it there from the early period? No. Was it true in the case of Indians? No. Western perspective, this is all the ideas what has been given as Western perspective. Many historians refer this modern period as this whole modern period which is there that is associated with the colonial period, not with the Indian uh, people, okay. This totally ignores our people. They are not mentioning anything, but they are mentioning about the governor generals. But our Indian historians have divided this period into three, ancient, medieval, modern. But the modern period when we see, when we talk about, they are talking about the growth, modern forces, they had uh, talked about the democracy, equality, science, reason. But all this is which perspective? It talks about the Western perspective. It's not talking about the Indian perspective. So we can say that 
this modern period can be termed as colonial period which period colonial period okay students so in this video you must have understood with this topic we'll meet in the next video till then bye